Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Lepidico today is Managing Director Joe Walsh. Joe, welcome back to the network. Good morning, Rachel. Morning. Now, first up, Joe, can you remind us about Lepidico, the corporate strategy and your clean tech extraction processes? Yes, thank you, Rachel. Uh, Lepidico is differentiated by its proprietary technologies, LMAX and LOMAX, and they allow us to treat non-traditional uh, lithium bearing minerals like lepidolite uh, to produce high value lithium chemicals and a, a variety of byproducts. So we're in the business, in the process of building a vertically integrated lithium business, and we've just completed our first feasibility study. Excellent. Thanks, Joe. And now you have released those key results from your phase one plant feasibility study. Can you tell us more about that, starting with the Caribib Lithium and Gold Precinct? Yes, so last year we acquired the Caribib project in, in Namibia. Um, we started off by drilling that quite aggressively um, to get our first measured and indicated mineral resource, which we announced at the beginning of this year. And then with the completion of the feasibility study, we've just announced our first ore reserve estimate. So that's a major milestone for, for the company. And the development plan at Caribib is to redevelop two existing mines, um, which are currently dormant. So we'll redevelop those and mine them for lapidolite, which will then be processed in a new small scale concentrator. And can you talk me through the key results of the phase one plant? So the, the project is integrated between the mines and concentrator in uh, Namibia, and will then export a mineral concentrate to the chemical plant, which is planned to be built in Abu Dhabi. And so that's what we call our integrated project. The economics for that um, from the feasibility study are looking very attractive. We've got an, um, an internal rate of return of over 30% and a net present value at an 8% discount rate of just over 220 million US dollars. Excellent. Thanks, Joe. And like a lot of companies, you've recently completed a capital raising. How much did you raise and why did you decide to do that now? Yeah, it was, it was a strategic decision to, to raise that capital. It's obviously been a bit of a challenging year for a lot of companies with the, the pandemic. And we're, it's still unclear how that is manifesting itself through the lithium market and the, the battery materials markets. So we felt that it was important to uh, get a bit more working capital into the business. And we went to our existing shareholders who provided us with fabulous support over the years. And we ended up with an entitlements offer, which again was oversubscribed. So we were very well supported by our shareholders. And your project has excellent environmental and social credentials. Can you tell us about these? Yes, it's a very important point for the project. So um, it's the process that we use in the chemical plant is purely a hydrometallurgical process. So there's no high temperature process steps in there like is common for spodumene processing. So it's not that energy intensive. And so the full project actually has a relatively low carbon footprint versus uh, other similar projects treating other minerals. Um, the, as I mentioned earlier, the mines in uh, Namibia are brownfield developments. So we're looking at using the existing footprints there as much as possible to reduce land disturbance. We'll be creating about 115 new jobs in uh, Namibia and close to 120 new jobs in Abu Dhabi. Um, and the products that we're making are all um, uh, products that can be used in uh, electric vehicles, in batteries, um, or the, in high-tech chemicals. So they're very much 21st century products. Excellent. That's great news. And to the last question now, Joe, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, the, the, the project um, is also sits very favorably on the cost curve. So we have very competitive operating costs for the integrated project and our capital intensity is uh, at the low end of the scale for similar type of projects at around 17 to $18,000 a tonne. So all in all, the, the project has excellent economic credentials and 
social credentials um, and obviously the important environmental elements. And finally, I'd just like to thank our shareholders for their support um, in the recent capital raising and we look forward to transitioning the, project, the company now onto a development footing. Joe Walsh, congratulations on your progress and thanks very much for this update. Thank you, Rachel.